The Meghalaya Cabinet on Thursday discussed certain agendas concerning the development of the state in the coming year. Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong also briefed the media on the agendas that were discussed and the decisions that were made during the meeting. One agenda was relating to revision of revision of tax relating to booking of fancy number fancy number means those those the registration no? number number plate we call it so uh, transport department has proposed few enhancement let me tell you now and ultimately even the cabinet has accorded approval number one is those fancy numbers wanted by any anyone like ml 0001 because they used to have their own uh, you know their own special ending number the existing rate was 30 30000 rupees but now we enhance it to 1 lakh rupees then an ml 002 ending 2 again from 30000 to 50000 and then 03 again from 30000 to 50000 07 from 30000 to 70000 09 from 30000 to 50000 786 Twenty to seventy thousand, and eleven eleven from fifteen thousand to fifty thousand, <coughs> and <coughs> again we used to also have a special rate of jumping number. Again, that one also from three thousand to five thousand. With this decision taken by the cabinet, the increased. in collection of revenue will be not less than 7 crore rupees annually okay then number 2 meghalaya electric vehicle policy 2020 the government the cabinet is pleased to approve the draft policy on meghalaya electric vehicle and this will be taken effective from 1st april 2021 means immediately after the current financial year means in the next financial year 21 22 and this policy will be posted in website and also you will get a copy from the concern department where you can go all the details then the next agenda was relating to procurement of gi pipes under jal jivan mission see what happened was all these years phe they used to procure gi pipe directly from the ne zone manufacturing unit located in our state located at bernihat so in view of the increase in demand of pipes due to the implementation of jal jivan mission this very manufacturing unit supply capacity is less is lesser than the demand capacity so therefore ultimately the cabinet has approved the proposal of the phe department to meet meet up those shortfall where the manufacturing manufacturing unit located at bernihat because they cannot supply the entire quantity of pipes so therefore we allow phe uh, phe department to also procure this gi pipes from other manufacturing units to meet the challenges of supply 
shortage. So again, this this issue also has been approved by the uh, cabinet. So next point, uh, next point again. Want proposal from uh, one proposal from ERTS department relating to introduction of airport retail on and off license by addition of a new rule 279A and amendment of rule 245 of Megla excise rules adopted and amended by Megala. This is relating to one issue only. I just wanted to brief you. Since now the Shillong Airport, Umroy, is in full swing operation-wise, the cabinet has approved the proposal for amendment of Rule 279 of Rule 279 and Rule 245 in incorporating Airport Authority of India, Umroy, for allowing them to have on and off license for having a wine, wine shop inside the airport. So that is again another uh, another agenda that the cabinet please to approve then the last the last agenda that we have taken up is relating to the conduct of the general elections to the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council I would like to inform you that the cabinet has decided like this as follows cabinet has decided as follows number one publication of draft electoral roll publication of draft electoral roll will be on the 4th february 2021 draft electoral roll noted publication will be on the 4th February 2021. Last date for filing claims and objections will be on the 18 February 2021. Disposal of claims and objections will be on the 1st March 2021. Then notification for calling the constituencies to elect their representative will be on the 8th March 2021. Means the notification for election to the general election to the Karo Hills Autonomous District Council will be on the 8th March 2021. And let me repeat. From that day, from 8 March 2021, the moment notification comes out, model code of conduct will be in place. The model code of conduct will be in place from the 8 March 2021 to the entire Garo Hills District Council area. Next, last date for filing nomination will be on the 15th March 2021. Date of scrutiny of nomination papers will be on the 15th 3.21 at 3 p.m. Last date for withdrawal of nomination papers will be on the 19th March 2021. Finalization and publication of valid nomination and allocation of symbol will be on the 22nd March 2021. Date of poll 
9 April 2021 from 7 a.m. in the morning up to 4 p.m. in the afternoon and date of counting will be on the 14 April 2021. These were the agendas the cabinet has decided this evening. TNT Bureau. Thank you.